Happy Friday. Good to have you along. I'm meteorologist Matt Scott, and as we head into the weekend, it's a little unsettled. It's a uh, hazy dry now, but the clouds are coming. The rain gets here overnight tonight. Could be a couple of thunderstorms, especially down to the south and east. Rain for everybody off and on tomorrow. We'll dry it out. Maybe just an isolated shower for Father's Day on Sunday. A better of the two days off. Let's talk smoke. It's back in the forecast. Not for long. Uh, it's high up and it's dissipating. So it's not a major deal, but it, it's a reminder. It's still in the call uh, for the indefinite future as those wildfires up to the north in Canada remain uncontained in various parts. And now the U.S., we're moving into our wildfire season as well. 80 is where we should be. Temperatures are pretty much close to it, with Saturday being the exception. Wednesday is the start of summer. And we start to warm up. We'll talk more about that in the seven day in just a moment. Here's a satellite radar picture. Uh, we got a developing west coming uh, southwesterly wind. To the southwest we go. Lots of thunderstorms, including a tornado warning uh, just over the border uh, outside of Philly. This, and at least that heavy activity, uh, might try to just tag southeastern Connecticut later on today into tonight. That would be it. Behind it, there's nothing. But what we're going to be dealing with is the heart of the storm. You could kind of see again, like we had on Wednesday, a little rotation there, circular movement. That's gonna go through the state. It's not a washout, but it's gonna keep rain in the forecast. Rain returns tonight. You'll see that on the guidance, not looking for much in the way of trouble until that comes through. This is what I'm talking about. We'll have to keep an eye on that. And then it's scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. Saturday, diminishing a little bit into the evening hours. Uh, by the time we get to Sunday, much drier. Still far from perfect, but we'll take it, especially for Dad's Day. Uh, so that's the deal. This low's got to move. Once it does, we'll finally get an improved forecast, but that I don't think is going to happen for a while, Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. I want to time this out one more time to show you tonight. Big storms, temperatures around 60 degrees. Tomorrow, scattered showers only getting to 70 to the low 70s and then a couple of storms into dinner time. As we go into the rest of the weekend, it's better. High temperatures today, upper 70s, low 80s, about where they need to be. 72 to 77 on the shoreline. 80 degrees in Lyme, 79 in the quiet corner, and Hartford gets to 81. Uh, forecast, again, more rain for Saturday. Sunday's drier for Father's Day. Let's get the hammer and nails out. I don't know why this is for Father's Day, but. I didn't make the graphic. 60, 70, 74, maybe an isolated shower late in the day. From there, we get to the last days of spring. 79, 77, 81 on Wednesday. 10, 58 in the morning is when we start summer with the summer solstice. We'll take a quick look at the shoreline. 72 today, 72 tomorrow with the showers. Better chance of rain again, southeastern Connecticut, 78 to high on Sunday. Hey, dads, have a great Father's Day, and everybody else, we'll see you back here Monday morning.